Hello guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial on Sand VFX. Today we are going to look at creating a text using particles. Um, I've already done lots of um, tutorials based on text and so on. So this is what we'll create today. Kind of like particles coming out and forming our text. Like this. Okay, you can also see a uh, one frame render. If you have liked my Facebook page, I had put it up there you can you must have seen if you have liked my page so this is a scene render if you just want just the text uh, then you don't need to make as if like particles are forming like this coming out from somewhere and forming the text you can just simply uh, create a particles that are generated through the text and you can just render that okay but today we'll look how we can create a particles from some place and they come ahead and form our text okay here it is okay let me just uh, reset my scene oh, yes okay and first of all let me go ahead and create my text as always sand vfx and font also as always arial black or maybe this time let me use arial bold okay let me rotate it 90 degree Let's go ahead and add in a extrude or bevel. Let me add in a bevel modifier. Okay. For the first height, let me go for one or maybe 1.5. And outline to maybe two. Let's see, how is it? Too much, I guess. Let's set the outline to 1.5 as well. And for the level two, I set my height to 12 no outline and for the level 3 1.5 and negative 1.5 okay so here, this way we have got this bevel text okay let me press the J key to get rid of the selection brackets and F4 to turn on edge faces I like to walk this way and let me go ahead and convert it to an editable poly okay now let me just select X, B, and A, and I'm gonna detach it to another object. Let's name it A V X. Uh, actually, for the previous example which I showed, this was not necessary, but I'm planning to create uh, this three text from different particle source from one direction, and for this three one from another direction. So that's what I want to do. So now let me go ahead and create my particle system okay uh, it's too big right here let me reduce it right down okay now let me drag a standard flow and go ahead and set the birth amount to maybe stop at frame 80 and amount for right now I'll just set it to 1000 but later on we'll increase that a little more and let me set my particle source to this direction maybe around let me facing like this so that it's coming around to the text. Okay. So let me zero, zero my Y spinner right here. And for the particles also. Okay, it's on zero. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Now let's go ahead and delete this shape right here. I won't be needing that. Now I need my particles to follow up and find my text on its own so that even if it is rotated in this way only they I want them to find my text on their own so for that I'm going to choose a find target operator drag it okay and from here I'm going to go to target and instead of icon I'm going to set mesh object and I'm going to choose my text okay by list and I can texture one AVX that we named before so texture zero one select that Okay, now we can see that our particles are finding that target and coming ahead with that. Okay, now what I want next is I want these particles to stick around with this text as soon as they touch them. So for that, I'm going to create a new event, um, and that's gonna be somewhere around here. Where's that? Okay, lock bond. Okay, drag it out. And I'm gonna just link my find target to this new event called event 002. Okay. Now and go to log bond 
down here I need to add my object by list and text 001 okay now let us see okay you can see that now our particles are attaching with our text these blue particles you can see right here they are attaching with the text okay now let me just increase my timeline a bit maybe 150 okay okay now all the particles are attaching okay nice now I will just uh, duplicate my particle system Let's just select all of them hold shift and drag them okay okay I this link got separated okay let me link that as well and I will have another particle system right here so let me pull this in the next direction and go ahead and change my targets okay in find target I'll just remove this one and by list AVX and also on the lock bond remove and by list AVX okay now you can see that we are getting all of the particles right here okay different particles from different place okay that looks good okay now I'm going to increase my particle amount so before that let me go to my click here to get to this setting of this uh, pflow system and let me set my viewport percent to maybe 10 percent only otherwise it will be too much to handle and also 10 percent okay and for the first one I'm going to set to amount to 5000 and same for the next one as well 5000 okay okay we've got that now now I'm going to go ahead and create a simple box okay it's just a square box let's set it to 100 by 100 the size doesn't matter actually 100 by 100 by 100 let me convert it to an edge table poly and select all the edges and do a chamfer just to get some cool looking effect and a little bit rounder surface maybe around like this for ok now we're going to use our part uh, this box in place of our particles so we need to add in a shape instance ok add in down here okay and in place of geometry particle geometry object I'm gonna pick my box okay then next thing go to display and change it from ticks to geometry okay now you can see our box right there okay but it's only forming after it has attached it has been attached to our text so we need to duplicate this and copy it in our event 001 as well so let me just hold the shift key and drag it to my new event ok same thing again press the shift key drag it to my duplicated system again down as well ok now for up here also I'm going to change it from ticks to geometry from this one also ticks to uh, geometry and for this one also ticks to geometry ok now what we need to do is go ahead and go to save instance and change my scale percentage down okay really down I don't want two big particles and also I'm gonna increase up my variation to about 80 or 85 percent and also reduce the scale a bit more okay now you can see that our particles are now boxes squares and coming down okay since again I need to play around with all the settings and so I'll just delete this one right here delete this one also I'll just delete this one also I'll do that and I have already made the settings for this one so I'll just duplicate this one again and make an instance this time so that if we again mesh up if you again need to change this value so it will affect on everyone oops sorry cancel drag instance ok shift drag instance and ok now if you see ok now we have all these particles only ok now I still think that these pieces are too big so what I'm gonna do is um, reduce the size 
maybe three or maybe three is fine. Three looks good. Okay. Now I need to hide my text. Uh, hide selection and also this one as well. Hide selection. Okay. Now let me go ahead and do a quick render. Let's see how it looks. Since we have ten thousands of particles, it will take some time to render. Okay, it's too much mesh up right here, so we need to still reduce our size a bit. Okay, maybe around two, and also our increase some variations. Ninety-five, something around there, and I'm gonna reduce the amount to maybe thirty-five hundred. I think ten thousand that becomes too much. Thirty-five hundred here as well and do another render okay now that looks good that's fine I can also view all the hundred percent particles in my viewboard but that might slow down or sometimes it might crash so I'll just leave it that to 10 and the render percent to always 100 and now let me set up my V-Ray for our rendering okay V-Ray create a V-Ray plane and material let me set it to uh, pure material and pure white. Okay. Apply it. Let me go to rendering. Oops. Render setup from here. V ray down here to environment. Turn on GI environment and lag illumination. GI and ambient occlusion. I'll set my GI engine to light cache. That's good. And yeah, this map. I'll just set it to very low for now. And for final render, I'll turn it to medium or something like that. And don't go too high, otherwise you have lots of particles. So V-Ray will take lots of time to render your particle. And okay, that's fine. Let me go to rendering environment and set my color to match up with this GI environment color. So I'll just pick it up. Okay. Now. Okay, the size is good for now. For all, let's go to SDTV and select the smaller size, so that we'll have a perfect aspect ratio when we are doing the higher one. So, so save frames. Increase the size of it. Let me see how it looks. It might take some time. Okay. Okay, it didn't take too much of time. Okay, that looks good. You can also increase the particle count if you want and so on. And now we have all the particles with just a blue color, so that's not what we want. I did separate these two pieces so that I can color them uh, different, so two different colors. So let me close this renderer and let me go ahead and set up my two materials. Um, first one, let that be something bluish, okay, something like that, and go ahead duplicate this material to new one just name it pink because I'm going to select a pink or purple color or something like that and this around like that a little bit lighter color okay and for this one also I'll just select a little lighter one okay now let me go to my particle system back again now what I'm going to do is add in a material sorry where is that material static okay material static and I'm gonna assign blue material to this one. Okay. Okay. And for this one right here, let me add another material static right here. And add in a purple color. Okay. Okay. Now let us render our scene. Okay, now we can see that these pieces have different colors but you can see these are still having this green color so we need to just uh, duplicate them and put it in our event first event as well so just shift drag up instance ok and for this one also shift drag up instance ok now if we render Okay, particles from this place are in blue in color and these are in purple. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and increase my particle count to maybe 4,200, something like 
bad. Okay, and zoom in a bit. And let me render one scene. Okay, that looks good. That looks really good. And you can uh, change uh, anything you want. You can change the particle count, particle size, and variations. You can also choose something different, uh, text font, and do all the cool stuff, whatever you want. Okay, now let me go to After Effects. Here is a quick uh, scene of a render file that I rendered previously. It has a lot of particles right here. I actually use 10,000 of particles, and I think. Uh, instead of using a bolded uh, font it would have been better if I had used uh, uh, normal font which would be a little more smaller it's a little smaller but I think my one is a little too bigger that's what I think so let's see once I let us do a quick try and look and they are a little bold so a little bit bigger it, it looks a little bigger so you can just use a smaller front and that looks mm, uh, really cool okay in After Effects I have my this simple image I just rendered previously just using the same thing there's nothing different uh, everything was same just it is a little high quality than which we are doing here for test renders and now here in After Effects you can just do some cool stuff do some color correction and so on one thing I like is this full color gradient. Sorry, full color. There's not. Okay, let's go to uh, effects. Oops. Effect uh, generate full color gradient. Okay, and I guess I need to create a adjustment layer. Okay, adjustment layer, and apply that full color gradient right here. Generate full color gradient. And I'll just set my transform mode to something like screen or whatever I like. And also, I'm gonna play around with my opacity a little less. Okay, now you can see these parts are a little bit brighter and some bluish color right here or something like. You can also change these colors on whatever you like, something on reddish or so. Okay, this yellow part, it's to screen, something like that, whatever you like. That's completely on you. Okay, like that, and just look at how you get these images. Just do some fun stuff, try out, and it will really look cool. Okay, that's it. Um, so the main thing here was to know about this find target and lock bond operator in uh, PFlow. These two are really uh, good operator. They are really useful. Uh, useful in very various cases like find target can be used for missile hits and so on and lock bond also something like that okay I hope uh, you guys enjoyed and um, hope to see you soon back again till then have a great time